Hi, I'm Bobby Lane, and I'm here at the Steampunk Festival in Watch City, which is Waltham, Massachusetts. And I'm playing with my Fuji and also with the Pro Photo B2s today, going around doing portraits of everybody and shooting a little bit of infrared as well. So we thought we'd kind of start right over here, and you see this is Malcolm. And Malcolm, would you tell us a little bit about this bicycle? Uh, one of the first actual bicycles because it has pedals and two wheels. And uh, the wooden wheels came from carriage makers. The frame was made by blacksmiths at the time. And uh, eventually this turned into the modern bike today. It's very cool. Very cool. So we're going to do a portrait of Malcolm. And, uh, and we're just having a great time here at the um, Steampunk Festival in Waltham. Thanks. So here's the production still of, of how we set all this up. You can see I'm on the ground, and that is my fabulous husband, Lee Varis, also my voice-activated light stand, holding the, um, uh, the Okta for the B2s in place. Now, the reason I'm down low and shooting up is because, as you can see from this picture, if I was at eye level, I'd see nothing but tents and millions of other people around, and I really wanted to keep the background really clear. So here's the picture. Here's what we, we did with this. Now, what I've done is I'm shooting him at f11, and my exposure is a 1 1 80th, which is my fastest sync speed on the Fuji. So I needed to go to have enough, I needed to go to 11 to have enough power to match the amount of light in the background. And here's what it looked like in infrared. We really had a blast with the infrared. I, I had one of the Fuji cameras converted, and it's just terrific. We just totally love it. Okay, here's the Queen, Queen Mercy. Uh, same thing here. I have her lit. She's actually at f16. And you can see that there is, you know, some sunlight on the, the trees in the background there. So it was all about balancing the light. Now, Lee did a, a fabulous job of doing some post-production on this as well to give it a certain kind of look and then added the, uh, um, the kind of steampunky borders around here. And he also lit up that street light, which is not lit during the day. So that was kind of cool, too. So this is just a close-up of her. And again, this is lit as well. I didn't have to balance light here, but just to get away from having, well, having a little bit more sharp light as opposed to just the natural light. This is one of my favorite characters of, of the whole time there. So we kept this theme throughout. So he is lit at f16 at 1 1 80th of a second. So I'm, I'm basing all the light that's on him from the B2s putting all that power out there, which is great to give me F16, and then balancing the light to the background. Similar kind of thing here. Uh, she's at F11 and balancing to the light in the background. And here's another version of that with the infrared. So here's the pirate. Now we did this at City Hall, which was really cool up front, but we're still using the Octabank at this point, you know, the Octabox, which looks great. But we brought in one of his other cohorts that he does an acting troupe with. And we did this in the infrared. Now on this one, we use the grid. So this is now at F11. Uh, and we don't have too much light to balance in the background, but you can see that there is some sunlight. So we still had to keep a shutter speed of 1 1 80th. The next one was this Mary Poppins steampunk kind of woman. Uh, and that building in the background is in full sunlight. So this first shot of her alone is at F18. So you can see that even with that Octobank, I'm pumping out F18's worth of power. It works great. Still 180th in the background. And then we did another one with her whole family. And this one was done at F13. Uh, the light was backed off a little bit to be able to cover all of them. Still at a 1 1 80th of a second. And just love the way that it looked on the uh, on the infrared. So, so that kind of gives you a general idea about trying to shoot in direct sunlight with the, with the background in sunlight and then lighting the subject exactly the way that I want. And to show you that the B2s have plenty of power to be able to make this happen.